Hi family, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, on whatever the time of the day it is, this is Miss Norman, and welcome once more to my YouTube channel. And um, I just really want to say welcome, and just a quick note, um, I will hopefully, by God's grace, um, this evening, I want to try to give an update on our prayer requests and our prayer list. And um, those of you who've had to answer prayers, if you feel like sharing, um, put it in the comments so that we can um, just rejoice with you at the answer to prayers. Our reading for today, for Friday, for July the 12th, is, is prayer necessary? And um, our scripture lesson is taken from the book of Colossians chapter 4 and verse 2. Good morning, family, and happy Friday to everyone. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you so much, Lord, once more for granting us um, to be able to wake up this morning from a blessed night's rest. Thank you for your continued healing, Lord, in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for our growth and our encouragement, Lord. And thank you, Lord, if it was only a little step that we took today before you. Thank you, Lord. We are a little bit closer than we were on yesterday. Lord, continue to keep watch over us here on the venues, Lord, that this video goes out to, Lord. And Father, um, I ask once more that the blessings and the prayers that are prayed during this time or ask, Lord. I ask that as the blanket falls down over us, Lord, that it lands in the right place and space in each of our lives, Lord. And we are blessed immeasurably, Lord, to the point where we know it is you, Lord. You have answered our prayers and you have comforted our hearts, Abba Father. I thank you, Lord Jesus, Many, Lord, who might be under a burden um, this morning, tonight, this afternoon, whatever time they are viewing this video, Lord, I ask, Lord, that strength, courage, grace, and mercy, or whatever it needed, is needed, would be gifted to them this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Is prayer necessary? Our scripture lesson is taken from the book of Colossians in the New Testament, chapter 4 and verse 2. And it reads, Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Amen. Why is it that Christians pray? After all, God already knows our thoughts. But he responds to our prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer is a gift and powerful privilege that God gives each one of us. You're included too, family. Amen. There's no need for a pastor, priest, or anyone else to pray on our behalf because God wants to talk, wants us to talk to him directly. He's interested in every aspect of our lives. When we are facing a difficult decision or going through a dark valley, it is prayer that sustains us. Amen. I know there's a witness out there somewhere. Amen. Don't be afraid to take that step into humility and ask others to pray too. In the Bible, there are countless examples of people who ask for prayer from fellow believers. When we pray for each other, our hearts are connected in new and loving ways. Amen. We're not only drawn closer to our Heavenly Father, but also to our brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to choose wisely and carefully with whom we share private concerns, but we can ask each other as Christians, but we can ask other Christians to pray for us 
without giving them all the specific details because God knows every detail. And family, that's even details that we're not aware of even when we're going through something. It is rather selfish to pray only for our own needs, wants, or desires. God longs for us not only to love each other, but to pray for one another too. Amen. Amen. That's why we pray family here. That's why we encourage one another. That's why the comments are left for one another. Amen. Whew. Abba Father, thank you and blessing and healing, Lord, for all of our land. Thank you, Lord, for the richness that you place in our lives, Lord, and for those who have not experienced that richness, the richness that you are willing to place in our lives. Lord, continue to heal our land. Pray for our lineage, Lord. Encourage us to pray for our lineage throughout today. Thank you for holding our hand and walking us through. Thank you for good friends, Lord, that we can talk to at different times, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for that quiet, precious, sometimes tearful time that we have with you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord, this morning, good afternoon, this evening, or at night for this time with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, family, for being here. Thank you for God's grace and his mercy. And by his grace, I will see you all. And no, I have not forgot. Happy Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. The sun has not set yet, but I just wish each one of you to have a day, a weekend, time to rest, time to reflect. If your week has been as busy as mine, um, or it's going to be busy as mine or busier than mine, ask the Lord to help you to find some time this weekend is to just... Breathe a little bit. Breathe him in. Rest and relax. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you. And by his grace, I'll see you all on tomorrow. And remember, the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen, family. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening or good night. Amen. I love you.